Hello and welcome to my analysis of the novel Mind Game by Anthony Horowitz. The video might serve as a starting point for your own analysis or help to revise the things you talked about in class. Either way, if you consider the video helpful you might also consider leaving a like and subscribe to my channel. And now, let's start right away with a brief summary. Mind Game is a psychological thriller novel by Anthony Horowitz, published in 2001. The story takes place in an isolated mental institution called Fairfields, where a renowned writer named Mark Styler has come to interview a notorious serial killer named Easterman. As Styler and Easterman begin their conversation, it becomes clear that things are not what they seem. The first twist in the story comes when Styler discovers that the doctors and staff at Fairfields are not just keeping tabs on Easterman, but are also observing him. Styler becomes increasingly unsettled by his surroundings and begins to question his own sanity. The second twist comes when Styler realizes that Easterman is not actually a patient at the institution, but is in fact running the entire place. Easterman is revealed to be a master manipulator who has managed to control the minds of everyone at Fairfields, including the doctors and staff. Styler becomes trapped in the institution and is forced to play a game of psychological cat and mouse with Easterman, who is intent on breaking him down and making him doubt his own reality. As the game intensifies, the line between reality and illusion becomes increasingly blurred. Easterman's true identity is revealed to be a mystery, and Styler must navigate his way through a web of lies and deception in order to uncover the truth. The novel is a masterful exploration of the human mind and the power of suggestion. Horowitz's writing is taut and suspenseful, and his characters are complex and well-developed. The twists and turns in the plot keep the reader guessing until the very end, and the final reveal is both surprising and satisfying. Overall, Mind Game is a gripping and unsettling novel that will leave readers questioning their own perceptions of reality. The novel features three main characters, each of whom has their own unique personality and backstory. Let's have a look. Mark Styler. Mark Styler is the protagonist of the novel and is a successful writer who is known for his crime novels. He is a confident and intelligent individual who is used to being in control. However, as the story progresses, he becomes increasingly vulnerable and uncertain of his own reality. Dr. Farquhar. Dr. Farquhar is one of the doctors at Fairfields, and she is tasked with overseeing Mark Styler's interview with Easterman. She is a highly intelligent woman who is dedicated to her work.
However, as the story progresses, she becomes increasingly unstable and paranoid. Farquhar is a fascinating character who adds an element of tension and unpredictability to the story. Easterman Easterman is the enigmatic antagonist of the novel. He is a notorious serial killer who is being held at Fairfields. He is a master manipulator able to control the minds of those around him. He is a complex and intelligent character who is always one step ahead of Mark Styler. Each character has their own unique personality and the interactions between the characters are tense and unpredictable, which adds to the suspense and excitement of the novel. The narrative structure of the novel is divided into three parts, each with its own set of events and characters. Let's take a closer look at each of these parts. Part 1, it introduces the main character, Mark Styler, a writer who has been hired to interview a notorious serial killer, Easterman, in a high-security psychiatric institution. The initial chapters set the tone for the novel and establish the characters and their motivations. Horowitz uses this part to build the suspense and intrigue, with several hints of the twist to come. Part 2, Horowitz masterfully leads the reader down a path, only to reveal a twist that completely changes everything they thought they knew about the story. In this part, the narrative shifts dramatically, as Mark Styler's identity is called into question, and he becomes a character in his own story. Part 3 The final part of the novel is where everything comes together. The various threads and clues are pulled together, and the mystery is resolved. Horowitz delivers a satisfying ending that ties up all the loose ends and leaves the reader feeling satisfied. What makes the narrative structure of Mind Game so successful is the way Horowitz builds suspense and creates a sense of mystery that keeps the reader engaged. The novel is filled with twists and turns that keep the reader guessing until the end, and the resolution is satisfying without feeling contrived. Mind Game is a mystery thriller novel that explores several themes and motifs throughout its narrative. Let's take a closer look at some of the major themes and motifs in the novel. Identity. The theme of identity runs throughout the novel, as the characters struggle with questions of who they are and who they want to be. Mark Styler, the main character, is forced to confront his own identity as he becomes a character in his own story, and his true motivations and intentions are called into question. Power and Control Another major theme in the novel is power and control. This is exemplified by Easterman, the serial killer, who uses his manipulative skills to gain control over those around him.
The theme is also present in the dynamics between the characters, as they struggle for control over their own lives and the narrative of the story. Perception and Reality The characters' perceptions of each other and the events around them are constantly challenged, and the reader is left questioning what is real and what is not. The theme is especially prominent in the twist ending, which completely upends the reader's perception of the story. Mirrors The motif of mirrors is present throughout the novel, with characters constantly looking at themselves and each other in mirrors. This motif symbolizes the characters' struggle with their own identity and their attempts to understand themselves and others. The mind. The mind is another prominent motif in the novel, as the characters grapple with their own thoughts and motivations. The theme of mental illness is also present, with Easterman's character serving as a prime example of the power of the mind to both manipulate and deceive. Writing and Storytelling Styler is a writer, and his attempts to understand and manipulate the narrative of the story mirror the struggle of the other characters to control their own identities. Mind Game uses various literary devices to create a compelling and suspenseful narrative. Let's take a closer look at some of the key literary devices used in the novel. Imagery Horowitz employs vivid imagery throughout the novel to create a sense of suspense and intrigue. For example, the high-security psychiatric institution where Easterman is held is described as a place of darkness and madness, a black hole in the heart of the city. This imagery creates a sense of foreboding and danger, setting the tone for the rest of the novel. Symbolism Symbolism is also present throughout the novel, with several objects and images carrying deeper meanings. For example, the mirrors that are present in almost every scene symbolize the character's struggle with identity and self-reflection. Similarly, the moths that are attracted to the light in the institution's garden symbolize the character's attraction to danger and their ultimate self-destructive tendencies. Foreshadowing Horowitz uses foreshadowing to hint at the twists and turns to come in the narrative. For example, early in the novel, Easterman tells Mark Styler, you're not who you say you are. This foreshadows the twist ending, where it is revealed that Mark Styler is not who he appears to be. Metaphor Metaphors are used throughout the novel to convey deeper meanings and ideas. For example, Easterman tells Mark Styler, the mind is a locked room. And I've got the key.
This metaphorical language conveys the power and control that Easterman has over his own mind and the minds of others. In conclusion, Mind Game is a well-crafted novel that keeps the reader engaged from beginning to end. Horowitz's masterful use of suspense and his ability to create a sense of mystery make this novel a must-read for anyone. Well, that's about it. Thank you for the attention. If you like the video, follow my channel for more or visit my website for more in-depth analysis, just click on the link in the description. See you.